Hi everyone, this is Mohammad Kubaib. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about hybrid AD join. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the future updates. If you want to learn more about Azure or Azure Virtual Desktop, please check out my Udemy course. The link has given below. In today's enterprise world, we are hearing hybrid AD join very frequently. And in this video, we will see what is exactly hybrid AD join and what are the benefits we are getting if we opt for hybrid AD join. So when a device is part of both Active Directory as well as your Azure Active Directory, then it is referred as hybrid AD joint device. Let's say you have a physical PC or virtual machine in the corporate network, which is currently joined to your Active Directory and then you also join that device to Azure Active Directory, then typically we are referring that as hybrid AD join. The main benefit of this approach is we will get benefits from both on-premise as well as from the cloud world, especially features such as conditional access policies, single sign-ons, all those things you can achieve when you opt for hybrid AD joint approach. So we will go to our whiteboard and we will see in detail. So let's discuss Azure Hybrid AD join in detail. To understand this concept, first we need to go back to our on-premise infrastructure and we need to see how the domain join works. And then we will see what is Azure Hybrid AD join. So in your corporate network, you have computers and you have domain controller and you take this VM or PC in domain. So now this PC part of the domain. For example, it is part of VDA bus dot site domain. So now you can configure GPOs or any security related settings and you can push those things to your PC or VM so that you can secure or control this PC or virtual machine. This is in on-premise. So in on-premise, you have Active Directory, which is responsible for your identity and access management. So similarly in Azure, we have Azure Active Directory. So it will help you to control any identity and access management when it comes to your Azure infrastructure. So let's say if you create any virtual machine in Azure, so you can join this virtual machine directly to your Azure Active Directory. However, in Azure Active Directory, you don't have the concept called group policy. If you wanted to apply any settings, you cannot use group policy because Azure Active Directory does not support such functionality. Instead of that, we need to use something called Intune. So Intune will help you to push all the settings which is similar to our group policies or any other settings related to security or compliance. So on top of identity and access management, the Azure Active Directory or Intune, it also provides many security related features. One of the feature is conditional access policy. So using conditional access policy, we can apply n number of controls to our infrastructure. However, conditional access policy only you can apply on the Azure AD joint VMs. You cannot apply conditional access policy or any other policy which is available in the Azure Active Directory to the domain joint VM or domain joint PC in your corporate network. To get the advantage of Azure Active Directory to your domain joint PC, you have to configure something called hybrid AD join. So when you say hybrid AD join, you are going to join this computer, which is in your corporate network and currently joined to your Active Directory. So you're going to join this to Azure Active Directory as well. Now your PC, which is sitting in the corporate network or in the Azure, which is joined to your domain controller or Active Directory, is part of Azure Active Directory as well. So now you can push policy from both 
on premise or your active directory as well as you can apply policies from the azure active directory as well so using this you can have security and controls from both the place from on premise active directory as well as from the azure active directory this is how azure hybrid ad join plays a very important role so when it is part of both active directory as well as azure active directory so you can apply controls or security features from both the world from your azure active directory as well as from your active directory so that your vm will get benefit from both the world on top of it when your vm is part of azure hybrid join it will have the capability to do single sign on to all the websites or applications which is integrated with azure active directory for example you have applications such as avd or you have teams or any other application which is integrated with your azure active directory then from your hybrid ad joined vm you can log into any applications with single sign on you no need to enter the credentials once again so this is the biggest advantage when it comes to hybrid ad join the key prerequisites for hybrid ad join is you should have azure ad connect on your infrastructure then you should have either global admin credential or hybrid ad role with the user account and you should have enterprise admin credential and when it comes to network connectivity from your pc or virtual machine you should have connectivity to these microsoft urls which is enterprise registration login.microsoft.online device.login.microsoft.online and auto logon.microsoft.azure.ssr.com so these are the prerequisites should be in place before you plan for hybrid ad join to configure hybrid azure ad join for your virtual machine first we need to launch azure ad connect so we need to run this wizard and under this we need to select configure device option click next and click next again here we need to log in with our hybrid ad account which will have the permission to do synchronization with the help of azure ad connect so i have a user in my azure portal so as you can see this is the user hybrid user so it has got the role hybrid identity administrator which can manage azure ad cloud sync so i'm going to enter the credential over here so i will select the same user it is asking for the authentication with the azure active directory i'm going to enter the credential The credential is validated and uh, it will give you the option to select configure hybrid azure ad join so we need to select this option click next and here we need to select windows 10 or later domain joined devices then we can hit on next here we need to select our domain and under authentication service we need to select azure active directory so this is the page where we have going to select configuration for scp scp is nothing but service connection point it is used by the devices to discover azure tenant information for example you have a vms or you have a pcs on your corporate network which is joined to domain so if you wanted to identify azure tenant details so this configuration will help you to get those details so we need to select our domain details over here and then select azure active directory as an authentication service so once we enter the details we can click on connect add so it will prompt for the domain account we need to enter enterprise admin account here so in my case it is vda bus and the username is adam
so it is successfully accepted the credential then we can click on next and we can hit on configure now I'll click on configure so it will take some time to configure the SCP then we can onboard our VMs to the hybrid AD join process so the configuration is completed now so I have logged into the VM so the name of the VM is hybrid VM so this is currently domain joint as you can see it is joined to VDA bus dot site domain and now we will see how we can make this as a hybrid device so if we go to the command prompt and if we run the command ds rec cmd space slash status it will tell us the status of the vm so as you can see the current status is it is saying azure ad joined no but domain joined is s yes. it means it is currently joined to on-prem domain but it is not joined to azure ad yet so it means it is not hybrid device yet so let's open the azure ad connect server and we will launch powershell so by default it will take half an hour uh, to reflect any changes in uh, active directory to the azure active directory so we will run a command which will forcefully synchronize the object between Azure AD and our Active Directory. So this is the command. It will do the synchronization of our AD objects with the Azure Active Directory. So let's hit on enter. Now we can see it is successfully synced the objects. So let's go to the Azure Active Directory and we will see the status. I am here in Azure portal. So I'm going to launch Azure Active Directory. Under that, I'm going to select devices and then I will click on all devices. So here we can see the status. So as you can see, hybrid VM, the name of our VM and it is hybrid Azure AD join now, as you can see. And the registration status, as you can see, this is the status of the registration. At this time, it got registered. This is how we are going to do hybrid Azure AD join for our virtual machines. Now let's go back to the VM and we will see the status. So here is my VM. So I'm going to launch command prompt and I'm going to enter dsrec cmd space slash status. This will give you the details related to the Azure AD or hybrid AD join. So as you can see now it is showing as Azure AD join yes and domain joint yes so it means it is hybrid ad joint when windows 10 or windows 11 vm is part of hybrid ad join automatically single sign on will work so all the portals or websites which is integrated with azure active directory will be enabled for single sign on so if we see this command that is ds reg cmd space status so we have one particular area related to SSO so as you can see here Azure AD PIT mentioned as yes PIT means primary refresh token this is responsible for the single sign on so let's open the browser and we will try to log into any of the portal which is integrated with Azure Active Directory and it should be able to do single sign on so I have launched Edge browser so I'm going to access wvd portal or azure virtual desktop portal as you can see it will do the single sign on automatically so let's launch some other url i will try to access teams.microsoft.com and we'll see the single sign on experience as you can see it is automatically redirected to login.microsoft.com and then it did a single sign on now i am able to see the teams without entering any additional credential so this is how we can achieve sso when we join our virtual machine or physical pc in the corporate network to 
hybrid ad join in addition to sso we have multiple advantages like we can apply conditional policies etc to secure the end user device